We are going to begin with more than two and a half years after the Las Vegas Strip became the site of the deadliest mass shooting in modern U.S. history. The man who illegally made and sold the ammunition connected to 1 October will be spending time in prison. Douglas Haig was sentenced this afternoon in federal court, and that is where we find 13 Action News reporter Sean Delancey. He's live with more on today's proceedings. Sean. Ross, today's near two hour long hearing was packed with new information, including Douglas Haig taking to the, uh, the podium himself to tell his side of the story. He admits that he broke the law and says that the association with the 1 October shooting will haunt him forever. Douglas Haig walked out of the Las Vegas federal courthouse sentenced to spend 13 months in prison. Haig pled guilty to illegally making and selling armor piercing ammunition, some of which was found in the one October shooters room the night of the worst mass shooting in modern US history. Before sentencing, Judge James Mahan explicitly separated Haig from any responsibility for the shooters actions. Yes, he sold ammunition, but he had absolutely no idea whatsoever what Mr. Paddock had in mind. Haig's attorney successfully argued that despite investigators finding more than 150 rounds of his armor piercing ammunition in the Mandalay Bay hotel room overlooking the Route 91 music festival, some with Haig's fingerprints on them, that Haig had no idea what the shooter had intended. Haig wouldn't talk on camera. Mr. Haig's not going to answer any questions. But told Judge Mahan in court that the idea his ammunition could have been used in the shooting will haunt him for the rest of his life. The government even conceded that um, Mr. Haig knew nothing of what Mr. Paddock had in mind. Haig could have served up to five years with a $55,000 fine. Instead, he'll serve 13 months minus time served with no fine. We had would have been happier with an even lower sentence, but fair enough. Uh, the judge basically split the baby here. Now, the judge also allowed uh, uh, Haig to potentially serve a portion of his sentence in home confinement. Haig is supposed to turn himself into authorities on October 2nd of this year. Sean Delancey, 13 Action News.